So how to safely reduce insulin? So this is what I do. Um, so firstly, I ask the patient, how well controlled are you? What are your blood sugars? What's your HbA1c? If they're really well controlled, then you're going to be very worried about a hypo. And if they're badly controlled, then you can be less anxious. Now, with the short-acting insulins, I usually just stop it because I'm putting them on a ketogenic diet. They're not eating um, carbs with their meals, so they don't need the Nova Rapids. They don't need that rapid acting, so I just stop it. With the long-acting insulins, you know, there's once daily basal insulin, I usually just halve it. So they're easy, those people that are on a rapid acting and a long acting, it's quick and easy. If they're on a mixed insulin, so like egg insulin, it's a bit trickier because that's combining the rapid and the, that long acting insulin. Um, and if they're poorly controlled, I usually just halve that. Um, but if they're well controlled, then I would always switch them to that once daily long acting insulin. Um, and you, you just have to be careful with those mixed ones. It's a, it's, it's a different sort of story. I watch them really carefully. It's not, you know, you have to be very careful. So I get them to measure their blood sugars before a meal and two hours after. That gives them feedback, okay? If the sugars go up a heap after the meal, then you know there's a lot of glucose in there. And also it gives me a guide as to what their sugars are doing. And we aim for blood glucose below 10. And if the next day the levels are below 10, then you can drop the insulin down again. And I make sure I stay in contact with them every day. So let's go through some cases showing those different sorts of insulins. So this is a guy who came to see me this year and he's just easy. He's just on that once daily long acting insulin. He's on 20 units a day. He's 65, he's pretty well controlled. Um, his blood sugar ranges from three to 14 after porridge for breakfast in the morning. Um, and then he has a hypo in the afternoon. So I looked at that and said, why don't we just stop the insulin? We'll get rid of the porridge. And so that was him done. Very easy. Uh, this is a, a sort of different case, still the long acting, but a much bigger dose, 140 units. He's a 55 year old guy. He's been on insulin for 10 years. You know, the dose increasing, increasing. Um, HbA1c, 6.8%, blood sugars 5 to 8, pretty good. So I said, well, let's halve the dose and see how you go. So I rang him the next afternoon. I said, how are you going? And he said, oh, really well, sugars were good. And I said, all right, well, let's halve the dose again. And he went, look, I've gone on holidays and I've left my insulin at, at home. <laughs> and I went, all right, well, let's see how you go without it. <laughs> and he was fine. And that was, that was two years ago, two years ago. So that didn't take long and that was 140 units. So that's just showing you, you don't, you don't know. And I just wanted to show his triglycerides, which were 5.4 on a medication, and now, you know, they're 1.1 on, on, on low carb and no, no insulin. Uh, 